from Brady Miller of Go Hunt. And as you can see, I got four of the best four person Florida shelters behind me. We're gonna dive through the details. It's Shelter Palooza. Go have some fun. All right, behind me here, I have the Argali Absaroka four person tent. This thing is an absolute bomb proof four season shelter. No matter what type of mountain hunt you're going into, it's gonna keep you dry. It's gonna keep all your gear safe. Uh, it is one pound, 14 ounces in ultralight mode, two pounds with the stove jack mode, six foot two high, and the dimensions are nine and a half feet by 10 foot 10. Material is 20D ripstop sill poly. And right now we're gonna dive into a bunch of intricate little details that will make this tent absolutely phenomenal. All right, one of the really unique features is a ripstop poly on the side of here. That's gonna mean it's not gonna uh, sag when wet that you'll see in some of the other shelter materials. So that's gonna help you on you know the back country when it's nasty, raining, snowing. This is a really well-built uh, outer material on the shelter. Another really unique feature of the shelter is you have adjustable pitch. So basically right now you can see it I have it on the line locks. So in the warmer temperatures, when you want more draft and maybe to mitigate some condensation, you can pitch this up like it is right now, or you could pop this stake out and actually can put it through the webbing right here and actually stake the shelter lower to the ground. And so if you're, you know, those later season conditions where it's snowing, raining, you actually pitch it really low to the ground. That way you're not gonna get any draft from snow, rain, that sort of stuff to come up underneath there. That's what's really unique about this. You have two different pitch jobs, like I said, the line lock or the webbing. Another unique feature that I really like, it has a reflective loops all around the shelter. That allows you, when you're hiking in the dark, you need to find your shelter where it's at. Your headlamp's gonna light that baby up. And another cool feature as well, like you can see right now, I have a pitch with no mesh insert in here, but you can also get a mesh insert. It's basically allow you to have a full bathtub floor, get away from all the bugs, and it's gonna have a mesh top. That's gonna zip in really easy on all four corners and just make it so you're not gonna have any, you know, creepy crawlies at night. All right, one feature that I absolutely love is the ability to combo this for early season or late season. A lot of shelters don't have this ability but right now. Obviously I need to Velcro this down, but if I Velcro this down, I can remove the stove jack. It's called their arc removable stove jack system, where I could actually just take this material, remove the stove jack. It's gonna save a couple ounces and then I can run this in the summer. And then later on in the season, when you know temperatures change, and I wanna have a stove jack, I can actually remove this whole thing and then obviously I'd Velcro this in right here. And now I have the ability to run a stove jack with the stove for those, you know, hunts where, you know, it's snowing out, it's raining, you have a stove inside, keep yourself warm, keep yourself dry, that sort of thing. So it's a great feature, how you can customize this, make it modular by putting this in, or again, taking it off and just having the stove jack. As you can see, this shelter has double doors, which is a really great feature when you're hunting with your friend at night, you know, you got your hunting partner and you, one person needs to go to the bathroom, you might have to get out really easy. So double doors are great for that feature. Another great feature too is just being able to sit in your shelter in glass. Like when the elements are bad and you don't have a tarp, you can literally sit in here and move your gear away, sit in glass and glass on this side. It also allows you to vent this out really, really easily. Another great feature too is these zippers. These zippers are absolutely super smooth, which is a great feature to have because I've had a lot of shelters where you, know, you get some dirt, some debris in your zippers that make it hard to use, but these things that zip up, zip down, Great feature to have when the elements get a little rough. So awesome feature having double doors. Another feature when you're using your shelter, you're gonna wanna have a vent system because you know you have your stove going in there or you're trying to mitigate condensation. The shelter has a really unique vent system where it has this little tiny pole that runs in here. And so it's gonna really help to hold this up. There's not a wire that's gonna have to worry about. It's not just flapping in the wind. And you can see here, it's pretty taut and uh, really nice just to you know vent out the system and keep airflow moving through your shelter. And as you can see, I'm six foot five, laying here in the shelter. Great feature about this, I have plenty of headroom, plenty of room down my feet. And what that's gonna allow me to do, some of the shelters that are a little bit too small for a six foot five guy like me, the sleeping bed is gonna end up hitting that end of your shelter and get some condensation drip on there. But with this shelter being nine foot five by 10 foot 10, got plenty of room, plenty of, plenty of height up here. I can sit up, I can change clothes, do that sort of thing. And it's just roomy and spacious. You can see I can easily have two people in here. If I had a stove, I'd have a great spot right in the middle here to pitch the stove, have a bunch of wood, have my gear, have my rifle, that sort of thing. Lots of room in this Argali Absaroka four person shelter. All right, you can see here in the shelter, I have the Argali carbon fiber pole pitched up. You also could use a trekking pole system if you want to. And I will note too, if you're gonna use the carbon fiber pole, you will need to purchase that separately. The shelter, 
great for two people with the stove, but if you're not running a stove, you can actually fit, you know, four dudes in here, you're gonna be tight, but it'll work. But ideally for me, I'm usually gonna run this with the stove, two people, backcountry palace. So that's the overview, all the details of the Argali Absaroka four-person tent. Shelter behind me is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Ultimid 4 Pyramid Tent. I've been an absolute giant fan of Hyperlite Mountain Gear for the longest time. I own a bunch of their products. I think they make absolute bomb-proof shelters. I'm super excited. Finally got them in the Gohan Gear Shop. So the shelter behind me is one pound, 11 ounces. Six foot three tall, and the dimensions are nine foot three by nine foot three. And one of the biggest selling points to me, it's made out of Dyneema. If you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of Dyneema. A lot of great properties. We're gonna dive into some of the details right now. Okay, one feature I absolutely love it is a one door system, which means you're gonna save a bunch of weight, not having extra weight of the zippers. And the zipper itself is a waterproof zipper. So a lot of the other shelters, you'll see they have a flap coming over. And sometimes at night when it's really windy, you can have that flap, you know, bouncing around the wind. This zipper is super smooth, waterproof zipper. And it's really cool, it's a two way zipper. So I could I can zip this one down as well. I could sit in here, you know, do some glassing. And the unique feature too, up here, you see this little garage door. So that's going to add in some of the waterproof capabilities and have that water just kind of go down instead of trying to catch in there. So that's a really, really great feature. And like I said, waterproof, one door, save some weight, win-win. One thing that's kind of different than other shelters is there's no stove jack. So it's going to save you a lot of weight for those early season hunts. And you still can use this as a four season bomb-proof shelter, but just note, no stove jacks. So you cannot run a stove in here. So you're probably going to have to carry, you know, a little warmer sleeping bag, some warmer gear. But also a really unique feature too, it has two um, vents at the top. And all these vents have the no seam mesh way up on the inside, you're not gonna get any bugs going in there, but it's gonna help you vent out your system, you know, alleviate some of that condensation in there by having double vents on both sides. And again, like I said, no stove jack, which makes this a little different than the other ones. But again, stove jacks come at a cost of weight and being this is Dyneema and set up for an ultralight shelter, could be a good combination if you do not need a stove. Since it's Dyneema, the shelter features fully taped seams, which that's gonna mean you can eliminate the need to have to use seam sealer. So it's already fully waterproof, which is a great, great feature. And it saves a lot of time on seam sealing. It has eight reinforced um, line locks down here, all the way around. Line locks are super great. You can just tighten and loosen them as you see fit. Also right here, this shelter includes some of the best stakes, arguably my favorite stakes of all time, the Hyperlite stakes here. Great stakes, easy to pound in, great service area. Um, and then you come around here to the side, you have four center guy out sections here. So you can tie the cordage to it, guy out during the wind. It's gonna help add some livable space inside your shelter as well. And just, you know, make things super bomb proof when that wind comes up and you want your shelter to stay put. So another thing to note, a lot of times when you're using these shelters in late season, you get snow and ice built up down here. Sometimes these zippers get really hard to close. And what Hyperlite's done, they have this little button and strap on here. So basically what you can do you can get that thing buttoned in there. So that way, if you have ice and stuff built up here, you can still kind of close the shelter and then you might be able to you know, try to force this down. Another thing you got on here too, again, which is a great feature to have at night when you're trying to find your shelter, there are reflective little straps all around the outside the shelter. It's gonna help you be able to see it when your headlamp shines on it. Six foot five tall. One of the hardest things is trying to find a shelter that's big enough for a guy like me to fit without having my sleeping bag touched each side. As you can see here, I can lay down the shelter. I got plenty of room. Plenty of room in my head, plenty of room in my feet. Giant spacious space in here. Really great to be able to, you know, have all your gear, a rifle, backpack. As you can see here, you can easily fit two. You can probably fit four people in here as well because there's gonna be no stoves. So you have a lot of room for a lot of extra people, but it's gonna sleep two very, very comfortably. This place is a backcountry palace. And one more thing I wanna to mention too, this is probably one of the easiest shelters to set up since there's just the four stakes on the outside. It's a very nice pyramid shape, so it makes it very quick and easy to set up when you have, you know, inclement weather coming in, you can set this thing up quick. Um, you see here too, I have this pitched with a trekking pole with a little spacer here in the middle by Tricer. You can also pitch this with a carbon fiber pole from Hyperlite Mountain Gear that is sold separately. And right now it's just pitched with the pole going all the way up, but yeah, you can do a lot of different pitch options. Or as always, you can always, you know, cut a tree branch down if you need to, if you find around camp, so. One thing I also appreciate about this shelter, it has these little V-loops right here that are sewn into the side of the shelter. You actually can hang some P-cord in here. 
all the way across. You want to hang some socks, hang some gear, kind of let things air out and kind of dry slowly if it's the warm temperatures out. But it's a really great feature to have to also be able to dry your gear. One last cool feature. So right now you can see I have this running in a floorless method. You can purchase some inserts for this if you, you know, want a bathtub floor, you want a mesh insert, you want to get away from bugs, that sort of thing, get off the dirt. So that's another feature that this tent allows you to do is to add some, you know, inserts in there. All right, so that's a quick overview, all the awesome features of this Hyperlite Mountain Gear Ultimate 4 Pyramid Tent. Again, this is a backcountry palace. I'm super excited. We have these in the Go and Gear Shop. Hyperlite Mountain Gear makes badass products, and this is an awesome shelter for anyone. Whether you're backpacking, hunting, whatever it may be, you're going to be covered. So, see you guys later. <laughs> All right, the shelter behind me is the Peak Solitude four-person teepee. This is an absolutely phenomenal shelter. I had to uh, try out one of the earlier designs last year on a spring bear hunt and grew to love it to the point where I now own one. This is a backcountry palace. It's a do-it-all system. It's very unique from a lot of other shelters out there, which I really want to dive into some of those details because it's got a lot of great features that you're going to love as a mountain hunter or just going out and backpacking. So it's the weight, two pounds, five ounces. The height is six foot eight and the internal dimensions are nine foot by 10 and a half feet. And then the material is made out of 20D sill nylon. So right now we're gonna go dive through, complete walkthrough of this awesome shelter. All right, so the Peak Shelter is basically a backcountry Taj Mahal. It can sleep four with no gear, no stove, three, no stove with gear, or two with gear and a stove, plenty of space. Okay, what makes the shelter really unique is it's shaped differently than your normal teepee style shelter. But what makes it really easy to set up is you have four sections right here that have the black webbing. So these are the ones you want to start with to make it really easy to pitch. And all the other ones are going to be gray in color on the line lock. So again, you're going to want to start with all the ones that are black on the line lock. And again, it has have line locks, which are going to be super great. You can pitch this thing far down to keep all the elements out. Or if you want more of a draft, you can loosen this up, raise it up, get more draft, alleviate a lot of the condensation issues you might have. Another sweet, sweet thing is the shelter has a single point guy out system. So you can see here you have three different cords coming all down to one single guy out. So that's going to make it super, super tight. And what also what this does is adds a lot more livable space. Because as you pull these all out, it's going to bring that wall out a little bit to actually add extra space in your shelter, more room to move around and change clothes and that sort of thing. So I think that is a game changer in the mountains. And again, it's going to add to, to prevent you know, a bunch of wind from rocking back and forth in shelter, keep everything nice and tight. And that just also spreads out and then you pull it together to one little central point. I think that's a sweet, sweet feature in the shelter. All right, in addition to the single point guy out system, the shelter also has multiple other guy outs. You have a cordage here, it's gotta bring another stake. I love these style guy outs, they're super simple to use. And you'll see too, it also has reflective material on all these little areas. That way when your headlight, headlamp hits it at night, you can find your shelter really, really easy. And again, this is gonna help add some more livable space by also keeping your shelter taut so it's not gonna get beat up by the wind. All right, so great thing about the shelter, it's a four season shelter. So what I mean by that, you can have a stove in there, you can run your stove pipe up, you can crank that thing all night long, so nice and dry and warm. So you have a stove, stove jack here. This is when you're not gonna use it. You gotta open up these Velcro areas here. And really great thing, as this little D-loop kind of thing here, you can hook down the top so that's gonna stay up there and that's gonna prevent that from flopping down on your stove jack. And then right here, you can see right now, I have not cut my stove jack in yet, but what Peaks will do is they send you a little template that you can put on here for the size stove pipe you have, and you can custom cut your own stove pipe. I think that's kind of cool because, you know, there's so many different stove pipes and stove combinations out there. This will allow you to custom cut it to exactly the stove pipe that you have. Okay, this shelter also features two vents, one on this side and one on the exact opposite side. Great thing about the vents, obviously I have the mesh way up on the top here. And it's just gonna also, you know, obviously it's venting out everything to so help reduce some condensation. And also when you have that stove rocking in there, it's gonna help vent out all that bad stuff so you can sleep easy at night. All right, one feature you will not see in any other shelter is the cross trek stabilization on this peak shelter here. So what this involves is placing two trekking poles on the upper part of the shelter. You can see here you put the handle portion in these little cups. You have to add the rubber feet to the end of your trekking pole over here loop in those loops, and then just extend out your trekking pole, push both these sides out. What that's gonna do is when you have heavy wind or snow, it's gonna add a bunch of stability on the upper part of the shelter. Um, it's also gonna be a great spot to dry clothes. Like right now I have Omar's dirty socks. You can just hang these socks up here to dry if I'm running a stove. 
We could possibly take some of his boots. We've tried to figure out a way to hang them. It's also got this really cool mesh insert up here. You can put a headlamp, put some gear, whatever it may be, or you can put some things to dry up there. So maybe if I can find a way to put these boots up there, you know, just add some airflow going up because that's going to be the hot part from running a stove. Like I said, just adds a lot of headroom, increases stability of the shelter, and great drying rack. I will mention too, this will work with the Peaks Backcountry Elite and the Pro model. It will not work with the Backcountry Z poles, and I'm sure it'll probably work with some other trekking poles out there as well. Just keep that in mind though. If you get the shelter, try out the trekking poles to make sure they fit before you actually go out in the, in the mountains and actually use this system. All right, as you can see, again, this shelter is Taj Mahal. Tons of room in here. Six foot five human like me can easily lay down here, not touch the sidewalls, which is great again for getting condensation on your bag. Got plenty of room at my feet. Move around, I can put my gear, put my gun, bow, whatever it may be. Um, there's another cool feature. You can actually purchase a footprint for this shelter. It's gonna act like a bathtub floor across the whole thing. And then one really cool part too. So people who like to run a stove, you actually can have a zip out little section, fold it back, tuck it underneath, and actually can have the bathtub floor with the stove so you're not burning your floor print. So that's a really cool feature as well. And then I wanna to mention too, unlike a lot of other shelters, the carbon fiber pole is included. And you'll see down here, there's actually inch marks everywhere through here. And you'll see it's colored differently. Right here it's green, these are all white. 80 inches is usually a good starting point. That's gonna be a great reference mark. So that's just another little bit of added detail that Peaks went through on the carbon fiber pole. And again, it is included when you purchase a shelter, which is a great benefit, save some coin. All right, as you can see, double doors. Great feature, got two people in here. Someone needs to access in or out. You don't no, no longer bother someone to get out of the shelter. Another thing I really want to mention too, these zippers are some of the smoothest zippers. Super easy, one hand operation. Another thing that's gonna be really great too, let's say raining, it's snowing, some reason you're not out there hunting, you have to be in your shelter, well. I can put a tripod in here and glass with my binos, spotting scope, wall in the shelter, out of the elements. Great feature about the shelter, double zippers. <laughs> All right, so that's an overview of the Peak Solitude TP. Absolutely love the shelter. Like I said, I've actually used this before. I'm gonna use this again this upcoming year. Great backcountry palace. And sorry, but I gotta go. I'm exhausted, time to take a nap. <laughs> This is a Seek Outside Cimarron four-person teepee. It's crazy if you would add up all the nights I spent in the shelter. I have spent a lot of nights hunting in here and it is a phenomenal teepee. Absolutely great. So I'm gonna jump into some specs right now. Two pounds, four ounces for the weight. The height, six foot tall. Dimensions on the inside is gonna be nine foot six by 11 eight. And the material is 30D sill nylon. So now what I'm gonna do is walk you through why this is an awesome shelter that you consider for your next backcountry hunt. This shelter, super, super roomy. If you're gonna use this in the backcountry, you can actually sleep four people in here or two with the stove. And right now I was obviously running in floorless mode. You can add a nest on the inside if you wanna get away from the creepy crawlies, if that's sort of your thing. Otherwise you can just rock it with a floorless method. All right, one thing that's really cool about the shelter, it actually pitches really low to the ground and uses a lot, utilizes these little loops. And a little trick I've learned, when you're gonna attach your stake to a loop, I like to go in with it and then flip it around and push it down in because that's gonna add a bunch of extra surface area and kind of grips the stake. So for this little example right here, it's twisted and it's around there. So loops are gonna actually keep the shelter really low to the ground. It's great for inclement weather when it's raining, snowing, that sort of thing. And then also when it's windy, snowing, raining, whatever, you have two guy lines on each side of the shelter. It's great to always put your shelter with the guy lines out so that way your shelter's gonna stay taut. It's also gonna add some extra Livable space in there to get some of that side wall away from your face. So utilize guy lines on the shelter and it's gonna be a bomb proof setup. This shelter is probably one of the fastest shelters to set up. Very easy to utilize because it has a you know square pyramid type frame. You just gotta go one up from the door, stake that one down, go the same thing on the back side, stake one up from the door, do all four corners, pitch the pole up, it's done. Very, very quick shelter to set up, especially if you're gonna have wind, nasty rain coming in. You wanna get this pitched fast, it's a shelter for you. So this shelter has an absolute giant vent and it's a really unique system as well. So you see it has a big flap on here, mesh insert on the top, but it utilizes this little wire frame system on here. So when you're folding up your shelter, trying to get in a stuff sack, it might get all bent up. All you gotta do, move your little wire around and boom, it's gonna be vented. So I love the Cimarron because it has a stove jack. You can also use it 
you know, without having a stove in there because everything is tight down here, has a little Velcro, things on the side to attach the stove jack on the down position. So they want to use it, put a stove in there, do the little Velcro pieces off to the side, just fold this up, put your stove pipe through there, and then you're going to be warm and nice and happy because you're going to be dry and inside your shelter. That's a great feature about this. You have the ability to run it with the stove. As you can see, great feature. Two doors in this setup, which is going to aid in, we have two people hunting in here, need to get out, get in, that sort of thing. Uh, carbon fiber pole, purchased separately. As you can see, I have it pitched right now. You can also pitch this setup with the trekking pole, which is going to make it super lightweight. You don't want to pack a pole in there, or when you get to camp, if you don't want to use either system, you could cut a tree limb or whatever and pitch it up. Another really unique thing to all these shelters from Seek Outside are hand sewn in Grand Junction, Colorado. All right, so that's an overview of the Seek Outside Cimarron four person teepee. This is an absolute bomb proof four season shelter. I would highly recommend anyone who's going to go in the backcountry take a look at this shelter. Amazing features. If you guys enjoyed the video, please 